the hour of 10.30 having arrived, I'm going to call uh, the Higher Education Finance and Policy Committee uh, to order. Representative Bogomont, you have a motion for us. Mr. Chair, I would like to move the approval of the minutes from Tuesday, March 28th, 2023. Any discussion to the motion? Seeing no discussion, all those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed, nay. Motion prevails, the minutes are adopted. Members, we have a series of uh, motions today and on your agenda, House File 38 and House File 39 are vehicle bills. We're simply putting them in a position where if we need them, we will have them available. So I'm going to make the motion on House File 38 that House File 38 uh, be re-referred to the Ways and Means Committee. And again, this is a vehicle bill. In discussion to the motion. <coughs> Seeing no discussion, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed, nay. Motion prevails. House file 39, I'm going to move that house file 39 be re-referred to the general register, but to do that, we're going to have to adopt an amendment to make it a policy bill and not a uh, finance bill. So I'm going to move the DE1 amendment to the bill. So discussion to the DE1 amendment, which would convert this to a policy bill. Seeing no discussion, all those in favor of adopting the DE1 signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed, nay. Motion prevails. The amendment is adopted. Discussion to House File 39 as amend. Mr. Chairman. It's a policy bill. Representative Davids. Is this enough vehicles? Um, I got burned in 1999 as the new Commerce Chair. I didn't know what a vehicle bill was. And I didn't have any, and it came back to uh, haunt me. Is two enough? I used to do five or six. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Representative Davids, I have difficulty sometimes driving one vehicle, so I'm driving two right now. Okay. Um, and hopefully that will be enough. We do have the ability to send at least one or two other vehicle bills out if we need to. So we have bills that can be staged, but hopefully this will be enough. Very wise, Mr. Chairman, thank you. But you had gave good advice. I do recall that uh, on more than one occasion, this body has been stuck without a bonding bill. And I remember a little bonding bill from Winona that happened to be on the floor that became the entire state bonding bill. So <laughs> it's uh, always good to have a vehicle parked somewhere. That's right. Unless Mr. it's Chairman. Representative Wogamot, and that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the uh, motion is uh, House File 39 be re-referred to the General Register as amended. All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 And opposed nay, motion prevails. <coughs> Members, the uh, last bill on the agenda is House File 2073, and I'm gonna move the DE2 amendment. The DE2 amendment is the amendment we went through on Tuesday, and it is the Higher Education Budget Bill, so I would, uh, first of all, move the DE2 amendment, and my primary motion is to move House File 2073 to Ways and Means, and I uh, will move the DE2 amendment to put the uh, bill in shape. So discussion to the DE2 amendment. Seeing no discussion, all those in favor of adopting the DE2 amendment signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed, nay. Motion prevails. The bill is now in shape as amended. Representative Davids, I think you have an amendment. I do, Mr. Chairman, uh, and maybe if uh, nonpartisan could describe it. Uh, Mr. Savory or Mr. Hopkins? Sure, uh, Mr. Chair and members, so the A1 amendment to the DE2 amendment um, inserts that the bill that the committee heard, which is a two article bill and it expands the Minnesota uh, Higher Education Facilities Authority uh, to allow it to provide conduit financing for um, healthcare entities in addition to higher education entities. Further discussion to the amendment. Uh, members, we don't have a large number of rules in this committee that are written down, but I do have operative rules, and here's one. I don't like to adopt amendments of bills that are in another committee. This bill now is in the Health and Human Services Committee. I, um, I, I respect Representative Davids, I like the bill, but I would hope members would not vote to put the bill into the Higher Education Budget Bill. So Representative Davids, two year amendment. Oh, thank you, Mr. Chair, and I believe, and maybe staff could correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this was in previous higher ed bills. 
it's been kind of all over the place. What it allows is uh, for not per, uh, not for profit facilities to, uh, I believe, be able to issue bonds. Um, and so this is not a new, yeah, bonds. This is not a new idea. It's been around, it's been in bills that haven't made it across the finish line. Um, so I'd appreciate a yes vote, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Representative Davis, I don't have anything against the bill. I just have a problem with the process. We did have one previous member of this body who made a career <coughs> out of taking bills from other committees and putting it in her <laughs> omnibus bill. Uh, I think it's poor policy, and again, on just a policy point, I would ask members not to do it. Representative Cleveland. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and this bill would also have to come to state government. Thank you. And on that, too, I don't want the higher education budget bill going to state government. So further You know, Mr. Are Chairman, <laughs> I'd love to make a stop over there, but um, I'm going to withdraw this amendment. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you, Representative Davis. Representative Davis withdraws his amendment. <laughs> so we have the uh, bill as amended. Um, discussion to the bill as amended. Representative Roth. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, thank you for the DE and the hard work that you and everyone has done on the committee this year. I think as discussions have proceeded, you know, we've highlighted a lot of the concerns on our side of the aisle about this. Um, I am a strong supporter of higher ed. I am a strong supporter of the, the um, a lot of the provisions in this bill, but I do think that some work still needs to be done on consolidating some of these programs. It seems like um, in the new Native American Scholarship <coughs> Program that that's duplicative of something we already do at Morris. It seems like the UI provision is, I think, really problematic for um, not only the universities to afford, but also for um, ensuring that there's a ongoing pool of um, workers available. Um, the, the feedback I've gotten is that there are a lot of summer jobs available that people who take UI would be eligible for. And if instead they um, are on UI, they might not have the incentive to take those jobs. And um, I'm fundamentally very concerned that there's no initiative for a study on sort of right sizing the different, um, both the U and the Minsky system, given the enrollment trends and the enrollment declines we have seen for the last 10 years. And I would encourage the committee to continue to think about um, a broader look at, at how we're going to afford world-class higher education in the wake of declining enrollment and how we prioritize. So I think some sort of a, a study about the meta-analysis of what we need to do going forward to ensure that the future of higher ed in Minnesota is very strong is, is something that we should be considering. So thank you, Mr. Chair. Representative Robbins, um, I agree with you. We have not been in this situation for a long time where we have had resources. So the first thing I want to make a point of, we're going to have an open conference committee. This will be a public conference committee where we will be exchanging offers at each meeting. And I intend to take into consideration a number of the things you brought up. So hopefully they can be incorporated in the conference committee report. This will not be the last higher ed bill that comes out of the legislature. It's only the first coming out of the House. I also would hope that we would have interim hearings. Uh, we have to make sure that this investment is going to be done at the levels that this committee took a look at studying budgets. And remember, we study budgets not just at the system level, but at the university and college levels. We studied enrollment. We studied the structural deficits of all of these campuses, and we even got into particular programs. I want to continue that. I want to know how this money is going to be invested, and then I want to be sure that when we come back next session, if we need to tweak this, we're, not, we're going to tweak it. Um, I don't anticipate we'll have any more revenue, but we can certainly tweak it in other ways. So I appreciate your comment, Representative. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I look forward to continuing the work. Any further discussion? Seeing no further discussion, then I will renew my motion that House File 2073, as amended, be re-referred to the Ways and Means Committee. 
All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed, nay, motion prevails. Members, thank you. Uh, the committee now stands at the call of the chair. So there will be no regular meetings unless the chair would call them. Uh, and with that, I want to thank all of you and staff. And the pages just came in. They missed a interesting series of meetings <laughs> or of motions. So we we hope that just the pages sure. next time come just a little earlier. Representative David. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Probably the most exciting ever. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know about that, but it certainly uh, was the most productive ever. So with that, members, thank you. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you.